Okay, so here I am testing the NOCO Genius Boost. You can see here I've disconnected both of the battery terminals completely from the vehicle. We've got our unit right there. We're going to hook it up directly to the terminals. Push those down out of the way there. You can see completely disconnected from the battery terminals there, not touching. And we're gonna take our boost, power on, no chasing lights, you enter manual override, and you see we have the chasing lights. You can see we have voltage on my meter indicating 12.19. Hard to see there with the flash. And let's see what it does. I'm gonna turn it on. Drop down to 11.7. Let's see what we get. No problem at all. 3.0 liter V6 in the four doors. Cranked a little slow there. Units recovering to 12 volts with the engine off. Try it again. You can see it got down to around 7 volts there. It's two starts, no problem. Turn it off. Units recovering up to about 12 volts again. Try a third start. No problem at all. You can see the alternator's working good there. Try number four. No problem at all. Having a little trouble recovering to 12 volts now. Try another one. No real problem at all. Enough to run the radio. Try another start. Could do this all day, apparently. No problem at all. Still running just fine. Alright, we're gonna kill it. Check out the unit. We got here. The unit's not even warm to the touch on the outside at all. No problem at all. There you have it. So about six starts, no problem, and our unit is still indicating that it has a 100% state of charge, so apparently we could go at this all day.